What's up, family? It is your girl, Jada B. Lighting is better here. <laughs> Anyway, it is your girl J to B. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the family. If you aren't new, welcome back, you guys. So, um, I felt the need to come on here. I, listen, y'all, being transparent, being so honest with you guys. I wasn't gonna pick up this camera until all my videos that I have recorded, which is like over four months worth of videos that I haven't even edited. I wasn't gonna pick up my camera at all for the rest of the year, honestly, but I just feel the need to right now. And actually, I'm gonna just prop y'all up. I'm actually at work right now, which plays a role in the reason why I am recording this, but let me prop y'all up. I'm gonna go back to the office. Let me take my ring light. And we're just gonna have a little talk real quick. Okay, sorry for the lighting change. It's kind of dark in here. Let me prop y'all down a little bit so y'all can see me. It's kind of dark outside. I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but I just decided to turn on the ring light so I could talk to y'all. Um, like I said, I'm currently at work and I don't care that I am on the camera right now while I'm at work because I'm going through some things. Not really, but I'm, I'm not having a mental breakdown or anything, but I just want to sit here and talk because I'm just over. I'm over a lot of things right now and I don't even know where to start and I don't want to make these kind of videos like little life update videos I don't want to make those so often in my life but I think I am gonna include like a self-love self-care healing journey on my my channel I think I am gonna do that I, I think I should do that and I have been thinking about that since the beginning but some people told me that it wouldn't be a good idea but you know you can't always listen to other people but anyway I'm gonna just tell y'all what happened today and how I've been feeling and everything so like I said I'm at work it is currently 2 33 I don't get off for another two hours so today well the job that I do I had to reapply for this job right I had to reapply for the position which is the stupidest thing I've ever thought of because why would you do that? And I've been, I've been working the same position for five years. For five years, I've trained this position. I've written the curriculum for this position, okay? I have done a lot within this position. And they came up with this bright idea to reapply for the position. Why would I do that and I'm already in the position? Anyway, so long story short, I reapplied and you have to reapply every quarter. So I've been doing this for, I think they've been doing this for like two years now. And so this whole year of 2021, I just have not been at a good place in my my work, in my job. Like I just have not been feeling the best. I come to work and I do what I'm supposed to do and I leave. And anytime any of my coworkers hit me up after work, I either ignore them or I just don't text them back. That is ignoring, but it annoys me so much when my coworkers hit me up about work when I'm not at work, especially if I'm on a vacation or something. Do not hit me up. But the point is I have not been filling this job lately, especially with reapplying for this next quarter. I have this feeling that I, I, I had this feeling that I was not going to get the position. I guess solely based off how I was feeling throughout the year, I haven't been my best self with this position. So I just been feeling like that. And so the email comes out today that pretty much whoever's on the email, you are, you have been selected for the next quarter for this position. So of course I was on it, I was on it. I was on it, but I was happy that I was on it. But at the same time, I don't know, I'm still not happy with this position. <laughs> every quarter we have like a, a conversation i think they call them like grow conversations with your manager and i literally had mine right after the email came out so she's like oh you have great quality you have great effectiveness you're you're doing good you're doing good Do you have any questions it's always a short conversation because i'm always doing good there's nothing to talk about oh am i don't mind my hair because i'm in the middle of getting you know stress locks but anyway back to the story i was like I, I wanted to talk about the position or whatever because you asked like do i have anything to talk about and i really don't be talking to nobody but my co-workers <laughs> so what better time to talk about the position than my manager who is actually on the leadership for the position um we i was like i'm i'm happy i made the 
the cut for the team or whatever but i also told her that i was worried that i wasn't going to get selected and she was just asking me why and i was just basically telling her everything i've been telling y'all and she was like well you made it but you also um weren't going to and i'm just like okay why wasn't i going i've been on this team for five years this whole five years that's a long ass time okay I i've done trainings i facilitated multiple training uh i've written a curriculum for this position and y'all weren't going to select me so she goes on to say that um me and someone else within the company had the same exact answers for the application they give you like three questions three four five questions and you have to answer them pertaining to the position or whatever they give you like scenarios and you have to answer so my answers and someone else's answers were similar or the exact same she basically said they were copied and paste what they pretty much did was let both of us be on the team because they didn't know who copied who even though the other person was not on the team i honestly think to be fair they they were they had to be fair because i've been on the team for five years and they probably would have automatically chosen me because i know my work i i know this you know what i mean and the other person she has been on the team prior like in the past but they kicked her off for some reason i don't even know the reason but neither here nor there when my manager told me that oh my dad's calling hold on my daddy was outside and my uncle bothering me but um i don't forgot what i was even saying but long story short with that situation i have already been feeling like i don't even want this job no more i don't even want to do this i i need to leave like i will be there it's already been five years but to them my five years is in december i've been saying for the longest i just need to make it to my five year anniversary just five years you know i i can make it to december let me make it to december y'all and i have been watching a lot of videos i wanted to tell y'all this the other day well yesterday when i was actually going through that but when i'm at work i have the leisure to do pretty much what i want as you can see I need to really get back to work but anyway i have the leisure to do what i want so what i usually do to stay focused and motivated throughout my day since i haven't been really feeling this job i turn on youtube and every day i like make a not a playlist but i go through youtube and i just like select a topic or whatever or videos and i save them to my watch later playlist or whatever so usually when i'm at work i click on specific you know specific um videos that i want to watch but yesterday for some reason i did not do that and it automatically started playing a video and the video was the manifestation video i'll, I'll link it down here in the description box of the video that i was watching the girl was just talking about divine timing and how if i am watching this video right now i am meant to be watching this video right now right then she goes on to say, um, if you start to see things repeatedly or in sequence, such as angel numbers or seeing a lot of the same things over and over and over, that is not just a coincidence. It That means you are in divine timing. You are seeing this for a reason type of thing. So she goes on to say that she has always seen like um, the angel number 111, which is my angel number. Like if you're not new here, you know, <laughs> that 111 is my brand 111 self-care co by the way shop with your girl link is in the description box below but yeah 111 is my my angel number and when she said that i just it just automatically like made me think like okay this is divine time and if she brought that up i'm supposed to be watching this video but anyway long story short with that i just feel like i need to start manifesting things that i want talking about things that i I have already that I don't have right now but I already have them you know you know how they be like God has already done it for you it's already done so I really need to start thinking like that speaking like that and being like that like handling myself like that like I already have it type of thing so I am gonna get me a journal this weekend and start manifesting because I just need to I just need to do it and you should do it too I mean it's not for everybody but just watch the video and watch um you know other videos similar to manifestation and like things of that nature do your own research or whatever but i'm gonna start doing doing it because i'm not happy where i'm at and 
I've been feeling like this for a long time and I, I just feel like I can't do this no more. <laughs> I cannot do this no more. So if you are watching this, I want to say that I have quit my job if you are watching this and I'm manifesting this. I've quit my job and I've also, I think I seen a video on YouTube. I can't even remember what the video was, but the girl is basically saying, you always say you're going to quit your job. You're always going to you say this and say that you're going to do this a certain time. She said, you just need to write it down, write down the date, the specific date that you want to quit and just do it and everything else will fall in line. It's already done basically. So I am going to make December 31st, 2021, the date that is my, my last day at this job. Yeah, if you are seeing this and it has been posted, it's probably gonna be posted way after the record date, but just know I have quit my job and I am living a great life. I'm doing what I want. I've moved out of Florida. Look, I'm manifesting this. I am manifesting this, you guys. Moved out of Florida. I am happy. I am enjoying life. I am enjoying everything that I'm doing right now career-wise and yeah, I'm just overall happy. So I wanted to just come on here and talk about a whole bunch of things, but this is this is what God wanted me to talk about, I guess. <laughs> and I don't want to make this video too long, but um, I will be having more videos similar to it. I do want to record my self-care journey, my self-love journey, and you know, my healing journey because I, I did recently go through a breakup. So I, I do want to record my progress, my growth, and you know, so I can look back on all of this. Like th that's the reason why I record my videos. That's the reason why I vlog. I like to go back and look where I started and where I came from and how much I grew throughout the process so yeah if you did make it to the end of this video thank you so much for listening and watching and being supportive of me not judging me yeah just mainly listening to me because that's what I'm doing I'm just venting like right now I'm, I'm venting and I'm ma manifesting okay I am manifesting but it's been like 30 40 minutes right now that I haven't been doing any work so I'm about to go back to work and uh yeah thank you all again for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button Share the video if you like, like the video if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!